What is going on guys? It is May 9 here and we are coming at you again with yet another YouTube video and today we are looking at a very intriguing option in none other than Jonathan Santa Claus. He, Saint Nick, Chris Kringle, call him what you will, I believe this man is going to deliver the gifts this weekend and maybe I'm wrong but I feel like he is one of the most overlooked cards at the moment. I picked him up for 100k and I don't know why. When I look at his statistics, they scream an absolute weapon heading down the wing, especially in the 4-2-2-2 formation. If you've not watched my tactics video, you'll know that I leave them in the attacking style. I leave them on balanced and therefore they're allowed to get forward more. He has the medium medium work rates so I'm expecting that he will bomb on enough but not too crazy like Davies on the other wing who can sometimes get lost with that high attacking work rate. But when I look at these statistics, I see an absolute potential in this card to be insane. He's got the 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed with the anchor chemistry style. Some people would right away jump to maybe a sentinel, get the defending and physical up, but for me, I went this direction for a few reasons. Maybe a guardian as well, like 99 stand tackle and 99 slide tackle. Some people might go that direction. But here's why I went this direction. If you look at his card, he's got a few statistics that I've not seen on any other wing back in the game. I searched it on Footbin, I found no one. He's got 9999 in pace. He's got 96 shot power, which I've said all along is so important. The shot power even more than finishing. And I believe that with his 90 attacking position, he might actually get himself into the box the odd time to have a shot and I wouldn't be afraid to do so. He's also got 93 short passing, 82 long passing and 89 crossing as his base statistics. Again, he will be delivering the gifts. I believe strongly that he will. 99 agility, 96 balance. I've not come across a wing back with the pace, dribbling, and then 99 stamina that this man has. They don't exist. He's the only one. He has 90 reactions, 89 ball control, and 92 dribbling. So he should be able to keep the ball under a ton of pressure and allow us to play out from the back even better than we normally can. And then his defending is still good with the anchor chemistry style, 95 standing tackle, perfect 99 sliding tackle, decent awareness with 88, hitting accuracy not the biggest deal, and those 86 interceptions. Maybe that is the one area, we'll see how he does. And then physically, he's a specimen 92 jumping, the perfect 99 stamina. And with the wingbacks bombing up and down the wing, that is so important for my style. 87 strength and 86 ag aggression. Maybe the only thing, he doesn't have any player traits. I don't know really what he could have that would make him any better. Maybe power header for those clearances or something like that. Maybe off of corners. But overall, boys, I believe this card is about to shock and awe this weekend league. And maybe I'm wrong and maybe he's a fraud. But we will certainly put him to the test. His comparison to this Davies is again, if you go and put these two into footbin, comparison and just look at how closely related they are. It is insane and Klaus just barely edges Davies and Davies for me has been the best wing back I've used in the game. So I'm hoping that this is a revelation for me this weekend. And then the hyperlink or sorry, the strong link to a war is so key as well. And so I'm very excited. And then he really does tie in this back line for me. So I'm expecting big things from him. If you're liking these reviews, boys, if you want to see me look at more Team of the Season players, please leave a like on the video, comment in the who you'd like to see me look at in the future. I'm open to a lot of suggestions. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean everything to me. Follow for future content. There's a lot more where that came from. With that in mind, let's dive into this weekend league with this absolute weapon. Let's get it. Bamba. Awar, crossing possibilities, 
That was felt really good there, the way he Still tracked it. Still looking for that elusive 50th goal. Will it happen and today, an interception. Lee? Well, he won't expect his 50th goal, that's for sure. But if he comes along, he'll take it. And it'll surely help his team get a good result today. There he is. The cro take it away. The hosts have really controlled possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Now, what does Di Maria have in store for the defenders? Well, he's given a... I'm recording this after the, the fact, flank. boys, but this is one of my favorite close and clips. And at the moment, I didn't really see it. Di see Maria. him overlap there? He was and like he that well all weekend long, down. offering that support. But here's the part I like recognizing the danger, tracking back, and my opponent tries to use the long ball against me, and he's there for the tackle. And that is one of the reasons why I was really impressed with him throughout the weekend. The tracking, the effort to get back into the play, that's exactly what we want to see, and then of course that crazy stamina allowed him to do it. So 2-0 now. Oh, superb skill. Close made up for that pretty nicely, actually, despite oh, wow. the fact I didn't defend it well at the beginning. Half-hearted. Oh, a tremendous block. Di Maria. Great block again. Oh. That's going to do it there as well. Well, they've lost it. Well, he keeps going. Bamba. Can he take the chance? Oh, yes, Ben, you do. Intervention. Well, far from the ideal pass. Jonathan Klaus. And he's through here. Oh, oh what a team goal goodness. that was. Close with the overlap. Great ball, great finish all around. Rome on the wing. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Not a good pass. And breaking at pace with menace. End product or not. Can they convert? Is this close? Oh, What's he doing there, boys? <laughs> I didn't even realize that was him. I thought that was Di Maria the whole time. Left-footed, what a finish. His stamina is insane. Just the fact that my opponent paused it. Let's take a quick look. 70 to 6. Wow. I he has been up and down and up and down and up and down all game long. I cannot believe that. Wow. Alright boys, so we are 9-1 currently in Weekend League, a fantastic start, and I have to say that this man, Jonathan, Klaus, Santa, Claus, St. Nick, he was delivering the presents, that is for sure, including a goal and an assist in the review. Honestly, I think that's my first goal from a fullback in months and it just happens to be in the review and I wasn't singling him out he just kept finding the right places and truthfully at times despite having a medium attacking work rate I found him to be almost too aggressive as he went forward I had to go and change him to stay back while attacking in the one match that we just squeezed out of victory I had to make sure he was staying back because he just bombs on and with that 99 stamina I showed you in that match he can continuously do that for 90 minutes it is insane and he adds so much to the attack and I was incredibly impressed you can certainly feel the 99 acceleration and sprint speed he had a few foot races there with Neymar and Mbappe I will show you he had enough strength to hold opponents off but I don't think you're really buying this card for the defensive qualities although he did admirably and were 9 and 1 so he's certainly pulling his own weight but it's that attacking upside that really was 
impressive. He scores the wrong footed on his three star weak foot shot. Uh, his finishing being 83 for a fullback is insane. This card is the real deal and maybe even worse or better depending how you look at it. He does link Lacroix to OR and that's a insane combination and I really enjoyed him. I would give him a solid 9 out of 10 boys and I think I've not used a full back who I would say is better than him beyond Davies and that's saying something. So of all my other fullbacks that I've used, that includes Mbabu, that includes Bender, that includes Trent, all the different fullbacks that I've used, even Tavernier, I'd say this card felt better. He felt quicker, he felt stronger, his passing is insane, and then the way he joins the attack, boys. I'm telling you, if you have a formation, maybe you play 3-4-3, three, three, or something to that effect, or 3-5-2, and you want a more defensive right mid, this is your man. This is your man. He is sitting right in front of you, and he is dirt cheap because he's been passed over due to, I'd assume, it's his defending not being as high as it could be. But then when you actually get into the attributes, it's, it's good enough. And then you add Anchor, or you add Guardian, and he could be a defensive workhorse for you as well. So if you have an inkling, if you need a right back, if you need a French connection, this is absolutely your man boys. He was making lists all weekend, that's for sure, checking them twice of all the players that he pocketed throughout the 90 minutes. He was a juggernaut in the back, I quite enjoyed him. If you're enjoying these review boys, please leave a like on the video, comment any future players you'd like me to review. Please subscribe that channel, follow for future content. Thank you so much for the support boys. I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.